Hi everyone, so today I'll be walking you through two really excellent resources for um, reading online. Um, they're called Actively Learn and Storyline Online. So we'll start with Actively Learn. Um, it's totally free to use and very easy to set up. You just set up your free account and then once you do that, either as an educator or a student, you can just sign right in. So when you sign in as an educator or a student, this is the dashboard that you are faced with. Um, if you're looking for certain texts, you can look for them by grade level, um, by going down here. As you can see, um, for the most part, this website is geared towards older readers, but if you go to student library, that's where it has more uh, specific searching capabilities. So you can access text for younger readers. So a really cool feature of Actively Learn is that it gives educators the opportunity to switch to student mode so that they can view assignments and text and the entire website from the perspective of other students. So I'm going to do that so I can walk you through um, all the different features that this website offers to students. So right now I'm reading the text that I assigned my class, Ataka, a Young Desert Girl. Um, I think the two essentials of reading that Actively Learn really, really gets at and does quite well is vocabulary and comprehension. Every actively learn text starts off with assignment directions, which basically gives the kids a thinking job um, and asks them uh, like different poll questions, um, both to, or rather either to assess or activate some prior knowledge, um, which teachers can use later on in the data that the website pulls for you from all of these questions that the kids answer while they're reading. So as kids are reading the text, uh, Actually Learn has come equipped with um, certain key concepts or phrases highlighted and identified and defined, um, gives them pictures or sometimes supplementary videos uh, just to supplement and aid in their comprehension. Um, so just to go over a couple uh, student features here, um, Actually Learn actually gives students the capability of um, highlighting certain words, or any words rather, um, and they have the opportunity to hear it. Would. They can define it if they don't know the word. Or, they can translate it. And there's a ton of different languages to choose from. Um, furthermore, they can highlight, as I've done here, they can highlight um, and take note. So throughout the text as they're reading, um, let's just say I'm a student and I want to highlight this piece of the text because I feel it um, illustrates the assignment direction, the thinking job. Um, I had already written over here. I'll just do it again for your viewing purposes. Um, they can add in their own thoughts here as well as to, you know, basically letting them note, take notes and annotate the text and highlight it in the way that's helpful to them. Um, and so throughout the text, the way that Actually Learn really, really helps with comprehension is it actually stops them at um, certain points throughout the text and will ask them comprehension questions. Um, they'll range from kind of, you know, right there in the text, uh, straightforward multiple choice questions such as this to kind of do a quick check for understanding but it's great because it also will tell the students in the moment whether or not they're correct so if I'm a student taking this and I answer incorrectly I'll know that I kind of need to you know go back and reread and find better evidence and change my answer and this honestly is helping kids um, improve their metacognition um, as they're going through these texts and you know, starting to think about their own learning process. Um, I think this really aids in that. Okay. Now, the really great thing for Actively Learn, I'm going to exit out of student mode, um, for teachers is the amount of data that it pulls. So I'm going to go to my class right now that I've created, BCHP, and I'm going to go to the text that we just read. As you can see here, it gives me all of this different information. It tells me which words the students looked up. It showed me 
It can show me how they answered each of the questions in the text. It can show me how long they spent on the text. So this is an enormous amount of really useful data um, to help um, so that I can, you know, implement it into my instruction and help it, have it inform my instruction. Also, I can edit these texts any ways I need to. Um, Actually Learn comes equipped with all of these texts, you know, ready to go, but I can completely change these or supplement them in whatever way I feel is necessary. Or I can upload my own text and um, make an assignment completely from scratch. So this website is just, it's just honestly a goldmine of a resource for both students and teachers alike, and I really think the opportunities here are endless, especially as we move into remote learning. Now our next website is Storyline Online. Um, I like to think of this kind of as the Netflix of read-alouds. It literally is a database of uh, read-alouds read by celebrities. Um, while it may seem a little bit frivolous on the surface, I do think it serves um, a really great purpose of both aiding in fluency and comprehension. Um, all of the texts, all of the read-alouds rather, are subtitled. Um, and so this really helps with kids developing their fluency as they're hearing the text being read at appropriate speeds and with appropriate expression and adherence to punctuation. And they're also seeing that text um, in the subtitles. It also really helps them obviously stay engaged um, because, you know, they can either connect if they see a text that they like, that's one thing, but also just to see perhaps a familiar face, there's Oprah, um, that really helps with their engagement in the text. I understand for sure that one area that this is really lacking in terms of or compared to normal read alouds is the interactive component. However, most of the read alouds, most of the hosts, they will end their read aloud, you know, with takeaways, with further discussion, um, further questions, things like that. Um, for example, I know I just watched this one right here um, with Michelle Yeoh. She ended her read aloud by basically talking about her favorite part of the book and the lesson that she felt we could all take away from the book. Um, I'm actually going to click on this video to show you another really great feature of this. Every single read aloud here comes with a teacher's guide. And these are really thorough, full-on lesson plans um, that are perfect for using or just like getting inspiration from. Um, they're, they come complete with, you know, which common core standards they're addressing. Um, and the lesson plans either, you know, are surrounding the um, content of the books or um, they're using the books to, um, they're like incorporating the books into the lesson plans um, themselves. Um, so I think that this is a great resource, not only for us teachers, but also for parents who are hoping to further their children's learning at home. Um, and I think it's just really, really useful. So this one is definitely much more straightforward, but also a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I think that these websites are very useful, especially as we move into remote learning. And I think both serve as great reminders that if we're going to have to be doing this, at least we're doing it in 2020 when we have um, all of these great online resources for the kids and for ourselves to use. Um, it really is honestly a fountain of knowledge out there. So I feel very lucky to be teaching remote learning um, at a time like this. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you utilize Actively Learn and Storyline Online in your future teaching practice. Thank you.